the sound of spring. <laughs> Birds chirping. I don't hear a lot of them because my hearing is shot. Hopefully you can hear them cows bawling over there. The neighbors are branding. It's springtime and time for branding. Kind of wish I was over there helping. I, I miss branding cows. It was always her calves. It was always a pretty good time. But I got things to do, and I wasn't invited anyway. <laughs> but uh, today, the racetrack, horse racetrack, and the arenas are getting really dry. And if I wait too long to plow them up, uh, you end up with big, hard balls of dirt that don't break up, and you can't race horses and mules on that. They have a mule race on the horse sale, horse and mule sale day. Uh, this uh, this plow here, I would rather use this one to break things up in the spring because it's not as uh, expensive as that other one. But this bearing is out. I need to fix that. I don't know about the other side. I think the other side's okay. But that's it's not easy to get that in and out. It usually takes me half a day to do. Yeah, this side's okay still. But this one, I took all the teeth out of it. I need to put the shoes back on, straighten a couple of them, and um, put this one back together and go work up the arena and the racetrack. Well, nothing very exciting going on. Just, um, just springtime chores, getting the place ready for uh, the season this vise I put it on an angle like this and into the receiver it's only in there about a half an inch I gotta add four or five inches at least to the to the length of that but uh, I made this so that you could at an angle ouch See, it's really close to hitting right there really close but it does clear so I can put my tailgate down, that way I have both a workbench and a vise. But, uh, not long enough. Okay, that works. Added about four inches, and my tailgate slams open just fine. Clears that thing. This is what those plow teeth look like. They just bolt on to the end. This part goes into the ground. And these are completely worn out. There's the bolt hole there. So it should be that much longer than what it is. They're caked with dirt, hard to get off. Most of the time those um, nuts will end up rusted on. And there's, I don't know what there is, 10 or so of these to do. Some of these, it's kind of a surprise, really. Let's see if I can find one here. This is one of them I bent back. This piece here, that's pretty, pretty stout, thick metal. That's at least a half inch. It should be straight, like this one is. They've hit rocks and things and bent. I folded it back so it's straight enough to get a uh, tooth back on it. Yeah, I don't see any others. This one here is kind of bent. But they had been bent. They're back like that. I don't know. I would have thought this would be been a little bit stronger than that. That and they bend this direction too. That one's not so bad. This one. Look at this one. Not very straight anymore. Kind of disappointed with this part of that plow. The rest of it's a, a really good tool. Let's see. Plow bolts are kind of a specialized thing. They're usually flat. They're kind of like a carriage bolt. They lay down into this square hole here, like that, and sit 
basically flush so the dirt doesn't grind them off. It takes a special bolt and uh, these uh, nuts are kind of a lock nut also so they don't come off. At least you hope they don't come off. Sometimes they do. These are almost a little too short. Why is that too short? Oh, forgot about that. These plow teeth, this point here won't work with this. It hits. I gotta take and cut all those off too. It's not that hard to do, but it's just another step that takes more time. What I probably should do is just cut this out a little bit more. So that the tines fit, and I don't have to do this every time I change them. like that. Here's one done. Nine or ten, I don't remember how many more to go. It's really not that hard to change these. It's time consuming though. The other plow, look, they look like this. And uh, the bolt hole, you know, is right here. With this style, when you grind it down on one side, you flip them over and you grind them down again. Uh, the old plow, we would go through a hundred of these a year. They don't last very long in this dirt. It grinds them down pretty quick. But uh, I don't know how it's going to compare because this plow, it took 20 teeth instead of just 10. But you're able to flip them over too. So I don't know how many of these we're going to go through. Probably, probably at least a hundred of these, I'm guessing. They grind down about the same speed, but there's half as many of them. I don't know. There we go. Got them all done. Putting them on is real easy. They just drop in with a pin. But <laughs> I got down to the last one, and I was out of the out of the plow teeth. Hell, I counted them. There's 11 of these tines, and the plow teeth only come in um, bundles of 10. Why? Why did they do that? Would have been real easy just to make 10 or 20, one of the two. Make it a number that comes up with the same. Now you have to, <laughs> you have to break into an extra bundle just for one tooth. I don't know. I guess they sell more that way, right? Anyway, go get the tractor and put these on real quick. I really like how easy these go back on. They, uh, they just drop down through this hole in the bottom, up through the top, and you just got this little pin goes through there like that. And that's all it is. That makes things really easy. This other one. like so this other plow these springs are all bolted on and they're a problem 
we have to turn turn this thing up onto its nose to to uh, change the teeth and then when one breaks like this sometimes if I find them I can weld them back on like this one they don't last very long but they last for a while but uh, this one it's on the racetrack probably someplace I don't know where if I find it I'll pick it up but I'll have to replace that whole thing on that one Overall, this isn't the bad plow. I kind of like this one, but um, it's been pretty tough over the years. We've used it a long time. This newer one, this Black Widow, it does a better job, but boy, I tell you, some of the steel in this seems awful weak. Look at this. This thing's all bent up. It should be like that. I'll have to try to straighten that, too. Hmm. I don't know. It's a nice setup, but it seems kind of fragile compared to the other one. That one's got a little bit of a bend to it also. It does a really a lot better job than that old plow. Well, finally, after what seems to be all day, Got that straightened, and I'm finally ready to plow. got the arena and the racetrack plowed up that tell you what look at this talk about poor quality steel this is what that should look like look at this one hooked a rock or something and it folded it right back that's half inch thick steel that bent that badly Shouldn't do that. Look at this one. This one's good. Well, now I get to fix that. Take it off and heat it up and try to bend it back straight. And you, know, you can only do that so many times before they start to break. Don't know. This thing was expensive. You would think it'd be a little better steel than that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye.